I had to stay up late last night because there was something I wanted to catch on TV. It was live, but I missed it, so I had to watch the rerun. It was how Hillary got her group back. Yes, I know, it was supposed to be the Democratic debate on CNN, but the commentator said afterwards that's what I actually had been watching the whole time. And I, I, think, I, I think I realized that I had been watching the wrong show. But still, it was fairly entertaining, enlightening, and depressing. But it was based on the honor system, in which the least one of the people talked, the more honorable they was. Hillary talked the most, being the most dishonorable. Then it went to Edwards, and then Richardson, or maybe Obama, was tied for fourth. And then it was some of the other candidates that was there. I'm not even sure they mentioned their names. But anyway, I had to go online and look them up to see who they was. The first question from the moderator, who I think was a bit biased, first asked the question of Hillary, and then she talked for a little bit and rambled on, and then mentioned Obama. So the moderator let Obama defend himself, and then Obama rambled on and mentioned Hillary. Then the moderator let Hillary talk, and then she rambled on, and, well, okay, it goes on for a little bit. Then they went to a commercial break, and then they were still rambling on. I think Edwards got in some time. He would be getting in plenty more time during the night. Then it went back to Bidden. Now, this guy, he was pretty good. He started cracking a few jokes, and uh, I guess the best one he said was that there's only three people there that night that's going to be asked any questions. It was going to be Hillary, Obama, and Edwards. And the crowd laughed, and, and they thought it was pretty funny, and they chuckled. And then the moderator asked Hillary a question. The crowd did not like that. They booed and hissed and started to chuckle. They laughed at their own plight and misery. Unfortunately, Ben thought that they were laughing at him, and his stand-up performance a little later didn't go over so well. So then they went on to some more candidates, and of course Edwards and then Richardson, he got a lot of time. And of course Hillary, she got some fairly easy-to-ask questions. Then they mistakenly put the camera on Kucinich. Kucinich saw this, he knew it was his only time that he was ever going to be on uh, the show and have any time to say anything. But he quickly got a samurai sword and ran it through Edwards. Doing a somersault back over uh, Clinton, she evaded his attack. She, she saw it coming. She was pretty good. She was waiting on it. Uh, Edwards, uh, he, was, he was miserable the, the whole rest of the night. Uh, blood was spewing everywhere. Uh, the moderator was, had to go to a commercial. They had to change the whole set. So when they came back, uh, uh, Edwards, he was looking pretty bad. And uh, Clinton, she had taken up some karate. She was fighting everybody off. It was, it was actually pretty cool. Um, although they weren't really throwing too many punches at her. Or no strong attacks, anyway. So then it went on for this a little bit. Uh, the audience was at being able to ask the people some questions. I learned later that it was actually very carefully constructed questions. And they weeded out the people. And they knew the order that they was going to be asking them in. And to who. But the most revealing was the very last question. Since the first question went to uh, Hillary, uh, most of the questions went to Hillary. She was mentioned the most during the debate. Actually, she was mentioned the most after the debate. Um, she got the most airtime above anybody else. They figured, well, why well, stop there? The last question was, well, I'm not going to say what it was. You need to watch the debate. And... Even though it was a friendly question, she mistake it, mistook the question for an attack and evaded. Oh, well. No, honestly, she, uh, that's essentially how the debate went. Um, I, I am fairly disappointed in it, and I don't think I have any more hope for our democracy, especially looking at the polls afterwards. Um, it's, yeah, the... The, the networks are going to choose who, who's the president. Now, as for the Republican, you say, well, we, we have, do have a choice. We can vote for Hillary or we can vote for the Republican, but I think it's going to be uh, Giuliani. So whoever it's going to be, uh, I guess it's going to, we need to wait a few months and we're going to see who they're going to choose to be our, uh, the, Democrat, the rep, Republican representative and nominee. But whoever it is, be assured that it's going to ensure that Hillary is the president. And there's essentially nothing we can do about it. I'm sorry. 
I'm not here to say, oh, well, we need to vote for you know, whoever. But I, I still went on to say, well, who's the Republican candidate that you know we might have a choice to, to win? So I was looking at who everybody, uh, what all the, uh, what all our representatives voted for, and all these bills. And I came to Ron Paul. He seemed to be pretty favorable, at least for what he voted for. A lot of the bills that I would be interested to see if he was for or against, there was no vote. So I did some more research and I came across this video. I'm going to put a link. You definitely need to watch it. Very important you watch this. And the first question goes to Ron Paul. I, I have been lost in his logic when he mentions um, abortion, abortion rights. And watching this, I certainly cannot understand his logic. When he says it's a good policy, and then he says something afterwards, I, I don't see the logical connection. So if somebody can please watch the video and tell me how he goes from one to the other. And I am also confused on how it's not about homosexuality. Exactly what are we not supposed to be telling? Do, do I, I'm apparently lost on the whole uh, don't ask, don't tell thing. But continue watching the video, because it's not just Ron Paul. Listen to everybody else's uh, logical excuses. Actually, they do a little bit better than Ron Paul. Anyway, they give at least some plausible sort of dodging of the question. Um, but that's not the best part of the video. At the very end, the moderator, uh, may the gods bless him, whoever that guy is, uh, the question he asked is very important. And listen to, look at the response. Um, it's, well, anyway. I saw a, a, something somebody left on the site. They said that if Hillary is the nominee, then he is going to go fishing. And I'm going to have to say, I'm going to go fishing with him. And I hate fishing.